So Get to Green is a program by FCPS that supports environmental stewardship across FCPS schools. So it's a program which is recognized and uh, encourages students to engage in project-based learning which are environmental, environmentally friendly actions. Green flag is really an eco flag and you earn that through the National Wildlife Federation. Um, you, in order to get permanent status, you have to do it for four years. And what you have to do each year is you have to look at, they have like 11 different pathways. Within those pathways, the children do audits and they look where are our problem areas, where are our weaknesses. And then they create an action plan to follow through on throughout the year. And the big part of this is these are student-led programs. As a teacher, I'm just the back person, just giving them the support. They lead the program. I'm Elder and this is our Lanier Middle School bioretention cell. And this is the rain garden part of it with our native plants, which were chosen to withstand flooding environment and um, thrive in the fertilizers that get into here. We also have a berm on the outer rim to prevent any, from, to keep the water inside and make sure that it's properly filtered before it goes out. And like the rock pit, we also have layers underneath this rain garden with sand, rocks, and gravel to further filtrate any runoff. The rock pit pretty much is the first thing that the runoff will flow into when it goes into our bioretention cell. We have a storm drain right here, so all that, all those pollutants along with the runoff go straight down it, whereas when we have this bioretention cell, it helps to filter out those things before all that water goes into the storm drain. The function of a watershed in the environment is it's uh, first a way to filter water. It also creates a lot of habitats because the fresh water flowing from the rain is going into the Chesapeake Bay and it's getting salt water from the sea which creates an estuary which creates a safe and healthy place for um, lots of fish, birds and plant species. The kids are in this constant problem solving mode and they're actually sitting down as a team. They're looking at problems around the world, how they solved it. They're coming back and looking at our dilemma. What are we currently doing? What are current things out in the field? And then they can come up with a brand new idea. To me, this is very passionate because learning has to go outside the classroom. We have taken kids in the classroom too much. We need to get into blended learning. We need to get into teaching kids at their pace because some kids are very advanced, some are different, some are different learners. This provides platform for everyone to learn. I know test scores are important, but social and emotional well-being is imperative for our students to be successful. You're talking about children standing up for what they believe in. and. It's giving them the opportunity to be leaders in ways that they might not traditionally be leaders. But the fact that 10-year-olds can manage something like that, that's amazing. That's where you want your children to be. It's, if you start it early, it's in them, and they become better advocates for themselves and for the society. Because kids have voice. They are our future. And if it's, they're passionate about these you know, issues, then we will have a better earth and better environment here.